Hi there, this is Bill Zimmerman from IMW Enterprises, and in this video I will show you how to install Page Expiration Robot, and then I will give a quick overview of the features of the plugin. Here I am on the plugins page of this test website. Uh, looks like any other WordPress installation, so I'm going to go ahead and click Add New, and then upload the plugin. Choose my file, click install now. Now I'll go ahead and click activate plugin. And it's installed, as you can see here. Um, now what you're going to notice here is um, on the left side here, you're going to have your page expiration robot options you have uh, campaigns ad campaign uh, browser add-ons and your settings so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click on add new campaign and here are your options for your uh, for your page expiration robot campaign on the left here are uh, campaign details uh, your on finish event the counter location and on the right side is a section that's just going to flow, uh, which is your counter customization. So I'll start at the top here and, and name the campaign. And um, your next option here is uh, when, when you would you like to offer to expire. So you have a few different options here. A uh, specific date applies to if you want to set a page, say, three days from now to expire for every visitor. Um, and it will expire for every visitor in three days. So uh, maybe you have a, um, a launch and you want uh, the... the uh, the launch the the launch sales page to end at midnight on a certain day for every single visitor across the world you would set this um, use this option the evergreen option here after um, a specific, specific amount of time that applies if you want the countdown to actually start when a visitor hits the page okay so this will be your evergreen option uh, so you can set this time say for for three hours and if the visitor doesn't hit the page for a year from now um, once they hit the page, the countdown timer will start um, at three hours. Uh, the first visit only is a true one-time offer. So every single visitor that hits the page, um, they'll only see it once. And next time they come back, it, um, they, will, um, they, will, they will get this unfinished event. And then finally, we have after a specific number of actions or sales. That is actually a add-on uh, that you would need to add to your plugin here. So let's go ahead and use um, the evergreen option here for a specific amount of time. And let's say I want the, the offer to expire after three hours. Let's say it's a one-time offer that I want to be only available for three hours. Uh, next option here would be how would you like your visitors to expire, um, either by cookie or by IP. Uh, by, by cookie is uh, enabled automatically with the plugin. Um, if you want to expire by IP, that is an add-on. Next, we have the unfinished event. So here we have a few options here. Either redirect to URL after the, the timer reaches zero. Uh, show a default image or show your own image and if you want to show your own mid image you just upload it here um, i would normally do just show the default image um, or i uh, show my own image if you choose redirect to the url it will redirect as soon as the countdown timer reaches zero so they won't show any warning or anything like that as soon as it hits zero it will redirect the visitor these two options the image and um, the, your own image that will show an image first um, before it redirects. So basically, it'll show the image and then it won't redirect until the page is refreshed by the, uh, by the visitor. And these are two other options here, which are also um, add-ons that you have to enable. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll choose the default image. Here's what it looks like. So we'll use that default image. Um, now, where would you like the, the counter to be uh, placed here? We have in the content or nowhere, which means it's an invisible counter. It's just counting in the background or a few other options here. Uh, again, those are add-ons that you must enable first. We'll go ahead and use in the content. And then on the right here, we'll customize our counter. Um, I'll make it a little bigger here. I'll make sure it's aligned in the center. And let's say I'm going to hide the, uh, the days um, label there. So let's go ahead and publish or create this campaign. Okay, the campaign is published. Now we'll go ahead and let's add a new post here. 
and we can take a look at how the countdown timer is actually added. Let me just grab some content here. Paste that in. Okay. Now to add your campaign into your content here, you just click on the little uh, hourglass button here and it's going to show your campaigns listed here in the drop down. So there's only one campaign created so far, so it's already chosen. I'll go ahead and click insert short code. It's going to put that there. So you have it. Now the countdown should show um, right there and publish this page. And we'll view the post. And there you can see the countdown timer.